In the beginning, we kicked this channel off by reviewing all of my boyfriend's favorite games, such as Breath of the Wild, The Witcher 3, Winds Howling, uh, 16 times the detail, Dark Souls, and it turns out many of these games are about as good as gaming gets. The problem with my reviews of them is I had no idea what's going on. Hell yes. yeah! But my boyfriend said, don't worry, lots of reviewers are casual gamers. The common noob, Ness mains. You know. So I reviewed Red Dead Redemption 2 based on literally no criteria and... <laughs> Two years and 80 reviews later, I'ma be honest, I still have no idea what's going on sometimes. Any questions? Yes! Several! But I appreciate video games way more. That's why we revisited Red Dead Redemption 2 when it got re-released on PC, and why the second game we're revisiting is God of War on PS5. In 2018, it was the reason my boyfriend brought home a PS4 and big ol' 4K TV one day. Open the door! This is no ordinary illness. I'd never seen that kind of raw hype before. It didn't make enough sense to me then. It does now. God of War is a masterpiece. The gameplay is immortal and the story speaks a universal language. Not even the PS4 could hold back this game's PS9 imagination. However, this isn't a review of God of War. This is a review of what it's like to live with someone who plays God of War again. This video is sponsored by Keeps, a preventative hair loss solution for men that gets delivered straight to your door. Stick around after the video to find out why Keeps has more five-star reviews than any of its competitors and how you can save 50% off your first order. Yay, a new sponsor! Thanks, Keeps! In a video titled Uncharted 4 is the best game I've ever watched, I described it as a linear thrill ride that felt surprisingly rare in an industry overrun with open world activities, and praised Naughty Dog for successfully foregoing any mechanics that might disrupt the flow by giving the player no reason to even press pause. Oh my god, you're so <laughs> annoying. I'm ruining the- You're uh, ruining, I'm it. ruining it. But look how cool it is, we got we're making videos over here. And while God of War's narrative might be the most visually stunning, musically stirring, technically mind-boggling, Boggling cinematic mic drop in history. Between every stroke of genius are epic gamer moments like this. Yeah. Jump. No. Ah. Damn it! This is the final boss. Oh, what? Stop that. All right. It is simultaneously the best of times and the worst of times you can spend as a backseat gamer. Left. Center. Right, left, center, down, right, left, center. My god. I'm not hearing any dongs. Whoa! <laughs> Whole weekends can go by where Kratos is so distracted by acquiring legendary bling, he seems to totally forget about his dead wife's final wish, even though she's hanging from his legendary pants. <laughs> It's not like my boyfriend needed all those stat bonuses to accomplish the main goal, no. The good armor is only good for goals that give you gooder armor. And from my perspective, these extra battles weren't about the thrill of the fight and the reward of strength. They were simply about the audacity of this Oh my god. Oh, it's on now. <laughs> it's daddy time. What do you think about that move? Yeah, you're stuck in here with me. Oh, oh, my god. oh, what happened to your mommy? You have just been talking. <laughs> roll, roll for your life. I detected no feelings of pride and joy and forgiveness when he set a Valkyrie free. Despite their apologetic cutscenes and jackpot of golden gear they offer as thanks, the post fight conference in real life felt like this. I'll see you in hell. I'll be wearing your pants. <laughs> okay, I'm feeling a little in the way here, so. But before we talk about Nippelheim, which is basically an entire roguelike game inside the game I was trying to watch, and before we get to Mustafarheim, which is basically an entire arcade game inside the game I was trying to watch, and before we get to the Valkyrie Queen, which is basically the entire reason anyone grinds those other realms, let's talk about the game I was actually trying to watch. It's amazing. I mean, it's too amazing, like a miracle my brain can't comprehend, and today in Girlfriend Reviews Chapter 81 Verse 25, I kneel before Santa Monica Studio and say, Be you angels? Cause holy, what the, how in a one take did ancient aliens make this? I'm just some girl who can't hardly use a controller, and even I took one look at Cory Barlog's game and said, Whoa, I was just gonna say it. This guy f am I right? 
Unfortunately, when Corey's in the house, the person he's making sweet love to is my boyfriend. While I'm on the couch going, how many pots are you guys gonna smash? How many bells are you gonna ring? And how many upgrades are you gonna bang before I see God of War reach its climax? Go rest high on that mountain. Folks, there's something worse than days-long side quests that I can politely excuse myself from without missing major plot points. Here, your frying pan. And it's days-long main quests filled to the brim with whole up a minutes. Oh! How can you not want to go in this subway? Look at it. Because Look how cool I want to go to the aquarium Look how cool this story. is. <laughs> okay, I was looking for duct tape. <laughs> God of War has both. So imagine you're me, and you're experiencing perhaps the greatest game in the world when suddenly you realize that any time the camera in this Oscar-worthy film is put back in the hands of your boyfriend, he adds a scene called, Obsessive Compulsive Man Assaults Every Garbage Can in the Room Again. Give me those! Quick! No matter how urgent the current objective in this father-son adventure may have seemed, it was hard to stay on the edge of my seat when the father keeps looking up at trees for secret pinatas. There's buckets here somewhere, aren't there? Bucket, more like f it, let's move on. The worst part is, my boyfriend's only complaint at the end of the game was that the economy felt broken because he always had way more money than he could ever spend. So picking up all that hack silver turned out to be a big waste of time, and I said, I knew it! Got it, Even did you see that I did. Yeah, save it. The other egregious hole up a minutes include pressing view in menu upon acquiring anything and holding up for 10 minutes to browse the shop, decide there's nothing we need, then walk 10 feet away to discover another shop and go, hold up a minute, let's see if there's nothing we need now. Although I did learn how fun that stuff can be when I helped my boyfriend locate the stones needed to construct the secret infinity gauntlet thing and we were both like, this does put a smile on my face. Hey Disney, Marvel, Crystal Dynamics, Square Enix people. If you want to know why an Avengers Easter egg put a bigger smile on our face than your whole Avengers game, it's because this guy Thank you. Eventually, I did make it through all the interruptions, and God of War did reach its climax. Yeah! Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> We'd come so far and we're right at the peak when my boyfriend accidentally had the biggest, longest, hardest hole up a minute in video game history. Two days I waited as he explored the Lake of Nine, searched for echoes in the mist, and climbed a tryhard volcano because during his first playthrough he regrettably conceded to a single undefeated foe. There's not many of those in his Nintendo career. And the moment I became aware of just how long the Valkyrie Queen had been living in his head rent free was the moment the PS5 patch got announced and this was all he had to say about it. I'm coming for you, bitch. Then after clipping the wings of Milfgaard's eight toughest ladies, he dressed head to toe in their skin and gave each of their severed heads a front row seat to the execution of their queen. The psychotic part is he dragged me out of bed for it too cause it's happening, you're gonna wanna see this. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, what he thought I wanted to see was all 15 legendary layers of the outfit he'd been collecting for 15 hours straight do absolutely nothing to prevent the final Valkyrie's boot from going straight up his ass. <laughs> <laughs> now this is what I call a Dark Souls. I think Seagrin is the hardest boss I've ever witnessed, and I was there when that surprise second ape almost made my boyfriend cry in Sekiro. Oh. <laughs> In fact, I'm kind of glad I got out of bed and stayed up past midnight. It was an epic struggle that showed off what a crowning achievement this game's combat system truly is. As for how the feud between my boyfriend and the Valkyrie Queen ended, well, he must have died a thousand deaths before looking right in her lipstick and saying, I will rain down every agony, every violation imaginable upon you. I will parade your cold body from every corner of every realm and Feed your soul to the vilest filth in hell! Uh, die, lady, I hate you so much! The ass! Ah! Oh, bitch! Oh, 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 lady! Yes! Die! Yes! Die! Fry those chicken wings! This is a baby game, that was easy. <laughs> This game is a baby for babies. And while he lay in bed that night, he reflected on the last two days he spent working out in a make-believe place to get revenge on a make-believe bully. And his exact words to me as I wrapped his throbbing fingers in ice were... 
aber schlaft mal cool down. Conclusion, God of War is a certified GOAT. Everybody knows that. And Kratos really rocks the bald look. But do you ever wonder what he'd look like with frosted tips? You wouldn't have to wonder if he'd only tried keeps. Two out of three boys will experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35. The best way to prevent hair loss is to do something about it while you still have hair left. Thanks to keeps, you can visit a doctor online and get hair loss medication delivered right to your home. They make it easy and deliver your medication every three months, so you can say goodbye to pharmacy checkout lines and awkward doctor visits. Keeps offers generic versions of the only two FDA-approved hair loss products out there. Now you may have tried them before, but probably never for this price. The treatments typically take between four and six months to see results, so it's important to act fast. If you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to keeps.com slash girlfriend, or click the link in the description to receive 50% off your first order. That's k-e-e-p-s dot com slash girlfriend. Thanks again, Keeps!